What up? It is I, the devil, aka Satan. I have emerged from hell on this special occasion to teach you all how to make a free Minecraft server with plugins and mods. You can also use this to make a server with just mods, or just plugins, or neither. Just to store what yes, you want. Jimmy. Wait, how the fuck did you get out of hell again? Oh god damn it, get back down there, you little So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have 64-bit Java installed. You can download this from the first link in the description and click where it says 64-bit. Next, go to files.minecraftforge.net, the second link in the description, and download the installer. Make sure it's the latest! It sometimes breaks if you don't have the latest. Thank you, Jimmy. Now can you please go back to your eternal punishment and let me do my bloody tutorial in peace? Just thought you could need the help, that's all. Okay. Create a new folder and name this whatever you like. I'm gonna name mine The Devil's Abode. Then run the installer, click install server, click this strange little dot 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 box here and select the folder you just created. Then click Click OK! okay. <sighs> Wait for this to complete, then open the folder and double click the Forge Universal JAR file. A few new files will be created. Open the EULA file and change the word false to true. Then make sure you have file name extensions enabled. Just click up here on view and check the little box next to file name extensions. Go down into the description of this video and copy the code I have so graciously placed there for you. My god devil! You really are a helpful fella, aren't you? Why, why, thank you, Jimmy. You know, I really do try. So does this mean I could come out of hell now? No, you have bought you can chill. You scored yourself life down there when you threw that moldy potato you kept in your bedside drawer at your brother's face when you were nine because he wouldn't let you play on the Xbox. Rather ironically, he is also down here too for stabbing the old lady across the street 47 times when she caught him stealing from the local gas station. Hey! Right click inside your folder and select new text document. Press Ctrl A and type start.bat, and then press enter. Press yes when it asks you if you're sure you want to change the file name extension. Right click on this newly created file and press edit, and then paste in the code. Make sure you change the amount of RAM to what your server will need. Give it more if you have lots of plugins, mods, players, or expansive worlds. Like my very own castle down here in hell, that's very expensive. It's actually quite crap if you ask me. There are all these fires everywhere the girls you bring home on the rare occasion don't tend to be impressed by the giant bits of lava as much as you think they are. Jimmy! Hmm, huh, really? I thought they were quite dazzled by them. Oh well. I'll get them replaced by the new heads on spikes decorations I saw around Steve's house the other day. That's bound to get their little fires rumbling if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, 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 say? Oh, oh. <coughs> oh yes. Sorry. Uh, I'll give my server two gigabytes of RAM like so. Use M for assigning megabyte and G for gigabytes. Close this file and finally rename the name of your Forge Universal JAR file to just server.jar. If you don't do this, the start.bat won't run correctly. Run the start.bat and a command window similar to this should open. Wait until you see done and then launch your game and connect using local host. You should spawn in your server. But there are no plugins or mods yet! Yes, Jimmy, I'm getting to that bit. Be patient. Close down your server by typing stop in the server command line. Then go to spongepower.org, the third link in the description, and click download at the top. Then click download under SpongeForge and click download next to the recommended build. Note, the most recent version of Forge right now is 1.12.2, so your server must be on that version for now. However, I've heard the programming geniuses over there are working on updating it as fast as they can, so check which version it is and make sure you're using the matching Forge and game version. Place this jar file into the mods folder inside your server folder, and then create a new folder called plugins next to it. To get mods for your server, simply download them. There are many places you can find them, but the safest bet is probably Curse Forge, and place them into your mods folder. Make sure you also have the same mods installed in your client, which you can create by using the same Forge installer and pressing Create Client, then placing the mods inside your mods folder in your Minecraft installation folder, usually reached by typing percent app data percent into the little box thingy right here, and then running the new Forge version from your Minecraft launcher. 
To get plugins, simply go back over to spongepower.org and select OR in this drop-down menu. You can then search for the plugins you desire. Download these and drop them into your plugins folder you created inside your mods folder. You don't need to install these on your client. Yes, thank you. Yeah, you why no problem. Glad stop. I'm... Just stop. Here I installed the Tinker's Construct mod as well as the plugins World Editor Nucleus, and it's working perfectly. Okay, right, Mr. Satan, but... Well, you see, I kind of want to have other people play because the server... If you are going to say something about other people not being able to join yet, then you just squat yourself another eternity in the fires of hell because I am getting to that bit! Go to ngrog.com, the fourth link in the description, and sign up for a free account. Once you are logged in, press the big orange button that says download and download the zip. Extract the exe out from inside and double click it. This will open another similar looking command window. Copy the auth token command from the ngrog website like so and copy it into the command window, then press enter. Then simply type the following, ngrog tcp minus region, and then your region, or the closest one to you, I'll put them on screen for you to see. Now unfortunately, Hell doesn't have its own Engrog region, so I'll have to use EU. Then type 25565. Press enter and the command window should change to something looking like this. Copy the IP address after forwarding exactly like I'm doing here, and paste this into Minecraft to connect. This is what you'll give your friends so they can connect from anywhere. And there you go. It's now up to you to create the server you want. You can install as many or as little mods and plugins as you would like. Here's me teleporting out from my home, hell, to my slime island. Teleporting to my smeltery station, going into creative mode, giving myself a wand and setting a large area to stone. Then building a rocket on top of it and blast into space. Done with an assortment of different mods and plugins. And here's me on a vanilla client, setting my home at my castle down here in hell. Get the plugins you want and scrap the ones you don't. Thank you very much for watching. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. If you have ah! a question, Jimmy, you can ask it down in the comments down there below hell, and I'll try to help you out ah! as much as I can. And just make sure you have both the server and Ngrog open when you want to be able to connect. That's pretty much all for me now. But always remember, I'll see you very soon. Oh my god. Hey there, kids. Uh, I'm sure you're wondering where this voice for this uh, Derby Steve character came from. Well, uh, I am. I'm, I'm sure you want to hear more of it. Um, well, you can, of course, do that at youtube.com forward slash funky show up. Wow. I'm Point sure behind you. Little... Look I'm behind sure you. That... I'll put I'll put oh. the web oh. site there. Oh, it, oh, it's but oh wow. Oh, what's oh, it's so sucky. It's youtube.com forward slash funky show up. Well, you should uh, you should click that and see where it takes you. It takes you on a wild journey. Goodness. Oh dear. Oh no. Don't you dare land in that. Okay, thank you. Oh. What are you doing? You just ruined the magic. God damn it. How are they supposed to believe it's like hell it's actually now? hell with the fires of hell? No, it's not. It's just a wall of green. Wow!